Hello. This short presentation is a part of a long presentation that was given at the first symposium on Mediterranean fruit in May 2024. That symposium was organized by the Innov Farmer Project, which is about better fruit from smart businesses. And our slides were prepared by several authors from the institutes that you see here. Now, let's talk about business models. A generalized business model is a design with three elements, a value proposition, or a simple statement on why a customer would choose a business's product or service. Then, value creation and delivery, which indicates what the business creates, how it links to its customers, and the relationship between the business and the customers to bring that value, the product or the service, through activities, partnerships, and resources. Finally, value capture is how a business gets a value in return. That value or benefit is usually money, but it might also be publicity, for example, from the business's activities. Importantly, this schematic overview of a business model was proposed in 2010, and our group likes it and finds it useful. But there are many business model overviews out there, and newer models do exist. Important to many of us is that the business model of our enterprise be sustainable. For business models to be sustainable, they should emphasize resilience. Resilience not only recognizes the importance of profit, but also values longevity and bouncing back from shocks. Focusing on resilience shifts the paradigm from business centric to recognizing that businesses are part of a wider system. Some phrases associated with sustainable business models are shown here. And for many of us, only the phrase circular business models will be familiar. Sustainable business models may be based on the innovations of the enterprise. In 2014, eight sustainable business models were classified based on the type of innovations they incorporated. Two business models are based on organizational innovations, three are based on technological innovations, and three on social innovations. Let's look at one example of each. The first business model based on organizational innovation is called for society environment. This means repurposing part of an existing value in the business to make something that is useful for either the society or the environment. For example, several presentations at the Mediterranean Fruit Symposium spoke about the use of prickly pear skin to make sorbet. A business model based on technological innovation would be one that aimed to maximize efficiency. This could be the efficiency of materials by perhaps using more of each raw material, or it could be the efficiency of energy, perhaps by preventing water leaks. Less common sustainable business models may be based on a social innovation. The first one here is to deliver functionality, and the full idea is to deliver functionality rather than ownership. This refers to a service-oriented approach which stresses sustainability rather than the more common ownership approach which stresses transfer of ownerships or selling of a product. So this might be a food enterprise, for example, that sells the use of its packaging machine 
rather than selling the packaging machine itself. So innovation in at least one of the three categories of organizational, social, or technological are required to transition from short or long to intermediate food value chains. And because intermediate value chains have the aim to address social and environmental issues, in addition to making a profit, these sustainable business models need to be evaluated in different ways. In the Fair Chain project, we developed three templates for evaluating sustainable business models. Here you see the economic indicators in which five issues are judged by looking at indicators in light of the business model. These are standard indicators about money and product that would apply to any business model. For example, we consider the issue of investment by looking at the indicator of profitability. <clears throat> Since we're concerned with sustainable business models that meet the requirements of intermediate food supply chains, we also developed a template for evaluating social indicators. These are not commonly part of a typical business plan. Here, for example, we consider if the business model supports a decent livelihood, which is judged by examining the indicators of quality of life and capacity development. Importantly, the definitions of these indicators are specifically very inclusive. For example, quality of life means ensuring that all producers and employees in an enterprise have time for family, rest, and culture, that they have the ability to care for their needs, such as maintaining adequate diets and earning at least a living wage. Similar definitions, which focus on often overlooked social parameters, were developed for the other indicators of success of a sustainable business model. A third template of environmental indicators was also developed. These are more commonly considered these days as many companies aim to address and to publicize that they are addressing issues like atmosphere and resource use, and they report on the associated indicators such as their effect or lack of effect on climate change or energy use. Here is one example of a business model developed in the Fair Chain project. This is the Austrian case study where several fruit and vegetable farmers in the Styria region of the country came together via a social innovation, the Food Innovation Incubator, a place where small producers are supported. Here, they formed a goal or in business model language, a value proposition to develop regional products from their farms and to distrib distribute them together in order to provide sufficient quantities for larger institutions in an optimal way. The value creation and de delivery identified the customers as public and private restaurants and retailers groups that none of the producers could reach alone because they don't produce enough. Importantly, individual consumers are not among the target group. Important because focus is important. A business cannot be all things to all people. The farmers captured value because they were able to offer diversified products and they formed new partnerships and they had lower costs, so more income. The evaluation of this business model is in progress, but we can already see how economic indicators as well as social and environmental are contained in this model. And now the take home message. Short food supply chain producers who want to grow their business 
to an intermediate food supply chain do not have to start from a blank page. Business models which incorporate innovations can be applied to existing value chains. These innovations don't have to be expensive nor dependent on specialized knowledge. The outcome can be a value chain of intermediate link, providing quality food to the customer and multiple benefits to the producer while maintaining sustainable practices. The Fairchain Consortium includes many small food businesses from around Europe, working with several large research organizations and associations. If you want to know more about the success of the fair chain cases using the indicator criteria and the use of sustainable business models, then you can follow the project on the social media of your choice.